I learned my lesson about pouring smoothies all over myself, but drinking out of a blender. In here was bananas, blueberries, dates, vanilla, and water. That was it. I'm going to try to keep fat really low today. Because I'm not feeling that good. So I want like an olish fruit day. Because those make me feel the best. So we'll see. <laughs> And I'm eating dates. This is like my second one. I'll probably go actually make something substantial in a second. But I've been working all day getting my room put back together. Um, information or the video about that will be out. It will already be out actually by the time that this goes up. So you can go check that out. I just finished watching a Wild Re a Wild We Roam video about curing acne permanently um i'll try to link that below too if i remember um but apparently the idea is if, if you do not eat any fat not overt fats healthy fats any kind of fat any oil and you don't apply any oil to your skin you can cure acne forever even cystic even hormonal i really don't want to have acne but i can't fathom never eating fat again but i'm willing to give it a try i think that I will definitely keep it low fat while I'm on raw vegan. When I decide, or if I decide to go back to cook foods at the end of the 100 days, then I will go ahead and experiment with absolutely no fat. Just see what happens. For lunch, I try to make a smoothie. I tried to make it as creamy as humanly possible without using any fat. So it has um, bananas, dates, cacao powder, water to blend, and then I also put in some vanilla and cinnamon. And it is not creamy, but it is not bad. So that's good and if you're not worried about fat at all which normally I'm not and you know that I'm not as far as like nutrition goes but as far as my skin I just want to try eating lower fat um, you can see how much I flip-flop my 
That's about fat. <laughs> if you are not concerned about not eating fat and you just want a super awesome tasting milkshake type smoothie, if you just want to try vegan or maybe raw vegan, um, definitely frozen bananas, um, some sort of plant milk like almond milk or coconut milk and then like an almond butter or a cashew butter or maybe even just like a handful of cashews and then your flavorings of choice whether it be like berries or cacao or peanut butter or something that will make a super creamy awesome smoothie Now I know what you're thinking. Why is this idiot eating fat again after saying that they aren't going to every four minutes? Well, actually I'm just trying not to be wasteful. There are things in this house that my family has bought for me specifically because they are raw and they're not gonna eat them. And these are things like yogurts, almond butter, you know, fatty things along that nature that they aren't going to eat. So. I'm just finishing those things up, obviously in like small, not crazy amounts, not all in one day. Um, when I finish those up, I'm not going to repurchase them, you know what I mean? So this is actually the last yogurt, so there's going to be no more yogurt for a long time. Um, because I'm going to be keeping fat as minimal as I can. Boo. This is also a really good way to eat papaya if you don't like papaya. Papaya, in my experience, those big green ones are relatively inexpensive. I think when you're being raw vegan, you need to find a lot of large fruits that you like so that you can like mono meal off them, if you will, and uh, still be satiated. So, papaya, I don't think tastes very good at all, especially not the big green ones. But when you put yogurt and then another fruit that you do like in it, it's super good. creation of this smoothie because I was anticipating total disaster but inside here is yellow dragon fruit banana papaya and blueberries and then I put in some protein powder and I mixed that up and I tried it and it was fine but it wasn't awesome so I just added like a craft ton of cacao powder and it just kind of tastes like a regular chocolate shake and it's pretty good
is raw vegan cinnamon raisin banana bread. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's so good. So like all those ingredients that I showed you, I was preparing that last night and I didn't feel like using a food processor, although you could and it would be way faster if you just chucked all that stuff in and processed it. I chopped it all up by hand and mixed it together in a bowl with a little bit of water and then dehydrated that at a low temperature for like 12 hours ish and yeah um improvements next time i would dehydrate it at a low temperature and about midway flu through flip it and have it on like a grate and not on one of the fruit leather trays so the bottom can get a little airing out action yeah i put some apple butter on it this is great